looking for advice on the sudden end of a loving marriage. I'm not even really sure where to start, my life has been a blur the past two weeks since I discovered that my wife and truly best friend in the world of 11 years, mother to my two small children, had been having an extraordinarily inappropriate emotional affair as if any of them are appropriate with another married man with kids of his own. I had suspected something was off based on all of the telltale red flags that everyone can spot a mile away. Becoming cold, keeping their phone with them at all times, staying up late to talk over discord to friends, the list goes on. I was devastated to finally catch her one evening saying extremely inappropriate things to him and confronted her. She sheepishly confessed to having felt a spark with this person who she met less than three months ago at a conference, and did not think she could walk herself back from feeling the way she did. She had never once attempted to reach out to me or any one of our friends or family to tell us that she was feeling distant in our relationship. There was no warning signs or anything. Once I had her admit her feelings of isolation I put a plan in place to help more with the things that she felt she had to handle herself. I did everything in my power to ease her anxiety and let her know that I was hurt, but I forgave her now that she opened up with her feelings to me. I had made her promise that she was to never speak to this person again and she would get counseling too. This lasted for four days before she was to go to another conference where I knew this person would be at. I had her promise me, eye to eye, that she would avoid this person because we were working on our marriage. She agreed. She didn't make it two days. She came home on Thursday and admitted that she was with him and they both admitted they felt the same way about each other and then turned it physical. Since then, I had exposed her affair to our families and close friends which caused her to completely isolate herself from all friends and family and become more than infatuated with him, calling him her soulmate, etc. She has already seen her lawyer, a day after she got back from the most recent trip which told me that she had made the appointment on the trip. The pain I feel is overwhelming, not only for myself but for my children and our families that are going to be affected. The pain of knowing that my best friend did literally nothing to attempt to save our marriage and our friendship and instead let herself get swept away by this person. I feel like I've run out of tears every day since but have been lucky to be surrounded by friends and family who are completely on my side, baffled about who this person is. I don't really know what advice I'm looking for. It could be I'm here just to write my feelings down and throw them out to the world. If anyone has any suggestions I'm more than happy to hear them. Thanks for listening. Redditor's Reactions Story 2 After Redditor 1, your story is almost as identical as mine, except my SDBXW met her AP on a hike while she was traveling for work at least, that's what story she's telling me. In short, you're not alone, at all. I'm five months past D-Day and two months past me telling her I've had enough and that I want a divorce. We're trying to work through it civilly to save headache money but it's still going to happen regardless. I look back on how I felt after D-Day compared to now and I'm proud of myself. I have my bad days sure, but not nearly as much as the beginning. I can promise you that better days are ahead and you will make it through. The crying will stop, the worrying will stop, the overthinking will slowly stop. Just takes time and acceptance that this wasn't your fault and life is unfair. Going no contact helps a lot, big time, and gives you power over your life, emotions and reactions. It gives you time to think and breathe. Also, it shows your wife that you are not putting up with her bull and you're only worried about yourself and your child. You will also have to accept that she will most likely start seeing this guy officially and live happily ever after. It is very likely that their relationship will crash and burn, bad. However, it's also possible that it won't. 
and that's okay, because you have your own life to live and that doesn't include anything about hers. Redditor 2, if you have young kids, you need to find everything about the AP for your kids' safety, if they have any prior records etc. Talk about this with your lawyer. My advice would be, don't do any kind of pick-me dance. File and meditate the divorce while she is in a fair fog, she more likely to accept your terms. Do it quickly. So, hurry. Redditor 3, she is a complete PS and she will regret this terribly in two years or less. Same as it happened to me. Now she's in therapy due to the extreme guilt, and what she did can't be undone. She now has to live with the fact that she did need our daughter a happy family because she acted like an immature teenager. Story 2, so I'm planning on playing the long game. My wife has been unfaithful and I had to drag it out of her after overwhelming evidence was found. I have a child who is three or four years away from being independent and not needing much from me anymore from a different woman, and I have full custody. I work constantly and pay all the bills and my wife takes care of my child. The child loves her and has she has been the only woman in our life since this child was a baby. So I don't want to take that from my child as she would be hurt and she still needs someone while I'm at work. But I'm planning on sticking it out until the child is old enough to stay home alone or have her own life. I thought about leaving her the wife. I owned my house before we got married and had a prenup so there's no issues with property. But I'd have no one to help with child care and my child already legally lost her mother due to other reasons I feel she needs a woman to talk to. And my wife is great with her and I'd have no complaints if she would have just been faithful. Only three or four years to go and I'll be free. She doesn't know I'm planning this but knows that I don't care about her the way I once did. It's been a rough year and I just wanted to get this off my chest. Any comments or anything else are welcome. Thanks. Redditor's Reactions, Story 3 After. Redditor 1, I remember a story on this very sub from a couple of years ago. It was about a man whose wife cheated on him shortly after the birth of their son. From the narrative she only cheated on him one time. After she was caught, she begged her husband to stay for the sake of their child. So he made a promise that he would stay to help raise their son. What she didn't know, that he had planned the long game the entire time. He kept his word. He stayed for the entire time his son was at home. The day after his son left for the military, he packed his stuff and left. Of course the wife was totally distraught and confused and did not understand why he was leaving her. He told her that he made a promise that he would stay for the sake of their son. Now that he was raised and out of the home, his responsibility and the promise he made had been kept. Of course the wife had probably forgotten all about it, thinking that they were good, he kept his promise and promptly left his wife for cheating on him 18 years prior. I had to admire his resolve, but he too, played the long game. Your story, reminds me of this story I just told. Redditor follow up, incredibly bad plan in a lot of places. I know in my state 19 years and one day married entitles the lower earner lifetime alimony, for example. Redditor 2, get a good nanny as a role model guardian and tell the wife to kick rocks. Your long game plan has nothing but misery written on it. Redditor follow up, yeah I agree with this. It's going to take some adjusting but it's a good idea in my opinion. No need to punish yourself trying to make it work. If she did it once she'll do it again especially if you let it slide once. Redditor 3, you are doing way more damage to the child by pretending everything is okay. Kids are not dumb plus they learn from their parents. You want your child to consider this relationship normal. 
you are subjecting your kid to years and years of therapy down the road all because of basically free child care. They can still stay in touch if you leave. Do better. Story 3, I caught my ex-wife cheating, when I tried to surprise her. It was Labor Day weekend in 2021. My then wife was in TX for training in the Air Force we both were in. We lived in Ohio at the time. During her training, she would call the kids 7 and 3 at the time and me every day and stay on the phone for a long time just talking about anything. Then suddenly she started talking less and less. Still daily, but only two minutes if that. She would say that she had to study for tests. Then she started missing days completely. After the third time, I called her later and asked, WTH was going on. She was utterly wasted, extremely drunk on the phone. I got mad and hung up. The next day, she says she needs space. Like I'm the bad guy here. We barely talked for two weeks after that. To backtrack a bit. We married when I was 25. She was 23. Dating for four years before that. When we were dating, she went to visit her friend in CA. Her friend married a Marine and moved there. Well, during that time, she was also going to meet a guy she had never met. Someone her friend wanted to set her up with. So for the entire two weeks, she was cheating on me. So we broke up for about a year. I connected back with her again, and we got back together. About two years later, I got married. During our marriage, she completely changed. She de need me intimacy and affection. When she rejected me, I would naturally get upset. I would say mean things to remind her of what she did because I knew it would hurt her. Fast forward, we had two children. Our marriage went on with hardly any intimacy or affection from her. I would ask her to kiss me. After our second child, we were pretty much roommates. I was extremely depressed, and it was difficult to get out of bed and do anything. I realized I wasn't the father I wanted to be, not the husband, and sought mental health. So back to the time after we started to stop talking after our argument. I thought the spark had been missing in our relationship, and I blamed myself for my depression and anxiety. So I got a babysitter for the long weekend. She had mentioned that she wanted to get away and go camping by herself. So I took it as an opportunity to surprise her so we could spend the weekend alone, just trying to get our love back to what it was, before marriage. I went to her hotel on base and talked to the hotel staff beforehand to let them know I wanted to surprise her. They were okay with it after I showed proof of who I was. I got an extra keycard, went into her room before she returned from training, and was going to surprise her when she came in. When I got into her room, I saw a large box of seendoms on her nightstand, many empty alcohol bottles in the trash, and her counters. I also saw her wedding ring in her bathroom on the counter as if the ring was stored there. I was devastated and in shock at what I saw. I hid in the closet, and when she arrived, I jumped out and said surprise, I just was still in disbelief that this was happening. Her response was, you're not supposed to be here. Then then she locked herself in the bathroom. She texted a school friend a girl to come. The friend rushed to her room as if it seemed like I was hurting her. To be clear, I had never raised a hand or even got close to it. Her friend left, and she came out of the bathroom. I demanded an explanation. All she could say was, I'm sorry. It wasn't in an apologetic way, more of an I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I left immediately, took a car to the airport, and bought the first ticket home. 
I could only do the bare minimum for my kids the entire weekend because I was crushed. Monday rolled around, I called, and she said she wanted a divorce. I was just in disbelief and agreed without a discussion. The only thing I could manage to get out was, I'm taking the kids and moving back home I was medically retiring from the military before she would return from training. Her response was, okay, can you take the dogs too? After we split and I moved back, I did some digging. I checked our bank account and saw thousands of dollars at bars and other places being spent by her during the time she was in training while telling us she was studying. I also checked the phone records. I couldn't see the messages, but I could see one number that kept coming up all day, every day, back and forth. That ended up being the guy she was cheating on me with, no surprise. We finalized our divorce in February of this year without fighting. Since then, she has skipped her time with her kids twice to go on mini vacations with this guy. He lives in DC 7 hours away from her. We live in MO 6 hours from her. In our divorce agreement, she can come to see the kids whenever she wants during the week if she clears it with me first. She just did that for the first time two weeks ago. Since February, that is the only time she has done that. When she calls the kids, and they see she is in the car or at a place they don't recognize, they ask her where she is. She admits she is with her new BF she drives or flies to see him instead of the kids. Last Thursday, she called me and said she messed up, missed the kids and me, and wanted to get back together. I tell her that she has to agree to go through her therapy and marriage counseling. It sounded like things were going to get better. Two days later, she sent me a message telling me that she wasn't going to do any of that, this guy makes her so happy, and she is now engaged to this guy. My life was crushed again. The entire year I have constantly been crying and lying in bed. Thank God for my family because I couldn't do this without them. I just feel so worthless. I can't connect with anyone I try and date because I am numb now and have commitment issues. I can't find a job, and I bought a house that I now have tapped into my savings to start paying for. I constantly have morbid thoughts of being better off dead. Then I hate myself more for thinking that because I have two amazing kids to care for. I feel like nothing can go right, and I'm going to lose my kids my house, and eventually myself. I have been talking to a therapist, but I DK if I feel any different. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm not sure what I'm looking for here, but I thought maybe if I got my story out there, it would have some kind of relief. Redditor's Reactions Redditor 1, I think your main problem is that you didn't accept that it's over and you kept that door open. Mate you need to put an end to this mess, and also you need to protect your kids from her. Mate no mother is better than a mother like that, she abandoned her kids for a guy. And this text about missing you and the kids is just because the other guy did something. Mate get a lawyer, get complete full custody and if you can then prevent her from getting in contact with the kids, it's better for your kids than to be the subject of this constant hope then disappointment cycle for years, and get child support to pay for the house. Mate you need to take control of your life. Go talk to a lawyer, get your house cleaned, take a shower, prepare good healthy meals for you and your kids, go to the gym and try to put some order in your life. Ready to follow up, this is the real answer here. Yes the ex was a piece of work but up casually walked into his own execution. Many red flags, rug sweeping, and even huge preview of what it would be like. STBXW saw a guy that would be easy to con into the loving husband while she played bad wife. She was even in the armed forces, away from the family. Redditor 2, you have a great life, you just can't see it right now. 
Be a great dad. Lean on your family. 180 Your wife. It won't take long to determine the depth of her sincerity. If she is sincere, then she has to do a lot for you to even listen to her. If she can't stop drinking, then you should consider her a danger to the kids. Mothers of children don't typically avoid them when it is possible to see them. Redditor 3, you need to DNA test your kids. Redditor 4, hey buddy, I caught the mother of my child sending dirty photos to her first cousin for three years straight, also know she's hoeing around for money, we have a six-year-old child who's amazing. I want you to know this just happened to me recently, and these types of women can never ever find happiness it does not matter how much you have to offer it's never enough and it won't be even with the new guy. You sound like a decent person, you need to chill and be patient love and good love will find you even though it takes time I have yet to find someone myself. However dude once you keep going, raise your kids, build yourself she will one day be hit with karma. The guy she's with probably knows she's hoeing around and treats her like acid which is why she's with him. Keep your head up buddy you can do 10000x better. Op answer, I appreciate it. I, unfortunately, asked her how he made her happy, and I didn't. She responded that he cares for her and puts her first, I just had to laugh. I worked city hours in a career field I hated so that I could support our family, and not have to get a babysitter. There was so much I did to let her have a better life. It honestly made me laugh. She says I didn't care about her or put her first, yet she leaves her husband and kids for another guy while lying and cheating. Just ridiculous.